Hey, welcome to Magic Monday with Nikki Stansberry, Boss Lady Mindset Strategist, Boss Lady Magic, here with you on a really beautiful day. Sorry, today I'm going to silence it. Anyway, today we are going to be talking about how to tell when you are close to the desires that you hold. The very first and foundational thing you need to know is that your desires are given to you by God. So the desires I'm talking about are not when you look at someone and say, must be nice. That's not a desire. That comes from a place of they can have it and I can't. First off, every human being on this planet is made of all cells, right? We come here, there's no preferential treatment. We are designed to choose what we're in aligned to. And so we all have a path, we all have free will, we all get to line up to what feels good to us. What feels good to the neighbor may not feel good to you. And so from looking around us, we can start to build likes, alignments, dislikes. It doesn't mean it's right or wrong. It just means what's in alignment with you. And so when you desire, let's say lifestyles of the rich and famous, uh, yachting, Caribbean islands, Mediterranean, luxury, rich, whatever it is that you desire, it could be totally simplified, minimal, that there's that also. It doesn't matter. Neither one is right or wrong. I am in alignment with luxury and abundance and beauty. And so I do everything I can to feel those feelings. And so along the journey, my desire, I've learned not to judge it, to embrace it. And so the way that you know that you're really close to those desires is that you might start seeing more consecutive numbers. So these would be angel numbers of like 1111, 222, 333. Those are messages that you're close. The angels want to guide you into believing that that thing that you're desiring, it could simply be, this is an okay, um, something for your refrigerator. So let's say it's a little egg um, tray. It keeps your eggs fresher and it just kind of rolls them out less cracking, all of those things. So you are you see the thing, first you didn't know it existed. Someone created it because there was a problem that needed to be solved. You were then in alignment with that thing. And that thing adds value, adds ease, adds longevity to your life. And if those are your values and that you're in alignment with, then you will be a match for it. But you got to see it first. And we don't see it in the tangible always. We see it in our visions and our dreams, in the numbers. What are the messages telling us? What is it that we need to be focusing in on? So seeing more of those consecutive numbers is one of the signs that you're really close to that desire. The second thing is when you see the number, because at first, let's just say we're going to use a million dollars as an example. So Maybe 10 years ago when you said, I'm going to be a millionaire, it was like laughable. Couldn't even imagine. That was just like not even a possibility. But you would say it as a joke because it was really a deep desire for whatever the feeling of million, million dollars gets you. And over time, you choose that this is going to be your reality. The reality is I'm creating a lifestyle of a million dollars. Maybe it's in the bank, maybe it's with assets, maybe it's however you choose it to come and to be in your life, but this is what your focus is. And day after day, you get into the feeling of what could a million dollars feel like. But then you look in the bank account and you're like overdrawn or you need a couple of hundred bucks. And so that gives you feelings of something else because the million is what you deeply desire but you're not a match for it yet because you haven't declared that you are worthy of that. So in the declaration, we declare it. 
And the more that we practice, things start showing up in many, many different ways if you're open to a variety of ways. If you're closed off and limiting that it only can come in one way, then it's going to be, it's not that it's not going to happen. It's just going to be harder and you'll feel more struggle instead of ease and flow. So being open-minded is another sign that your desire is close. The third thing is that you might get physical goosebumps or feeling of light and airy. So you might, you might just feel very present. Certain songs will start showing up. There's messages that are, words are maybe louder. You might get tears to your eyes when you read something. Those are signs that you're really, really close. Don't give up on the desires. They were put on your heart because that's the life that God has chosen for you to know is possible. We are all given abundance and prosperity. It is our job to define what that looks like for each of us. Sending you love and magic this whole week.